Hello everybody, welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host, Jake Eldridge with Realty One Group Eminence. And in today's Market Minute, we are talking about the real estate activity for the Gardnerville, Minden, Topaz, and Genoa areas of Northern Nevada. If we take a look at that real estate activity, it shows that there's currently 62 homes actively for sale right now. And 25 out of that 62 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. If you don't know what that is, uh, it is a program that allows a buyer to put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home. If you want some more information on that, I would love to talk to you about that. Uh, So you can give me a call on my cell phone at 775-378-4976. Getting back into the numbers again, uh, there were 62 total homes actively for sale and the highest list price was at $10 million. The lowest list price at only 170000 Again, there were 62 total homes actively for sale. One of those was in the one hundred to 200000 price range. Three homes in the two hundred to 300000 price range. Five homes in the three hundred to 400000 price range. Nine homes in the four hundred to 500000 price range. Three homes in the five hundred to 600000 price range. Six homes in the six hundred to 700000 price range. Five homes in the seven hundred to eight hundred thousand price range. Five homes in the eight hundred to nine hundred thousand price range. Two homes in the nine hundred thousand to one million price range. Twelve homes with a list price between one million and two million. Three homes with a list price between two million and three million. Two homes with a list price between three million and four million. Two homes with a list price between four million and five million. Three homes with a list price between five million and seven million, and one home with a list price between seven and ten million. So when we break all of those numbers down, it indicates that right now the median list price for a home in the Gardnerville, Minden, Topaz, or Genoa areas of northern Nevada is sitting at about seven hundred and ninety-seven thousand, and the average list price at about one point five million. If we look at the days on market activity for the region. Uh, It is showing that the days on market activity is uh, steadily increasing. Uh, We were seeing very low numbers on this, but right now it's sitting at 29 days as the median days on market and 55 days as the average days on market. Now, as you know, I do also like to break things down even further for you guys because limited inventory is causing a lot of buyer frustration right now. Uh, obviously a home seller can only accept one offer to purchase their property so many home buyers are experiencing frustration because they're writing offers but not having those offers accepted Um, so I'm gonna give you some tips on how to possibly overcome that Uh, the MLS does categorize uh, homes that are for sale uh, in different areas Uh, there's four categories that a buyer should pay attention to if you're running into the frustration of writing offers and not having those get accepted Uh, those four statuses are new back on market price reduced and extended status new is going to be the most newly listed homes for sale back on market means that the home sellers for whatever reason pulled their home off the market temporarily and have now put that home back on market again so that category is obviously going to be one to look into because a home seller had to take it off temporarily it's back on market now they're going to want to get into contract as quickly as possible so kind of similar to that new status the next status would be extended status Uh, that extended status means that the home was actually on the market so long that likely the contract to list the home with their real estate professional expired and they had to extend that contract so it's been on the market a long time they haven't gotten any offers that they've accepted Uh, they've probably reduced the price as well Um, so again you can target those types of homes to hopefully get yourself into something that you would like and avoid some competition and then the last category is uh, going to be price reduced. Uh, price reduced means that they listed the home. They weren't getting any offers at the price they listed it for. Um, so they ended up having to reduce the price. So again, you know, look into that category as something you can take advantage of because they've had to reduce the price. Uh, it's been on the market a while and you know, maybe you stand a better chance of getting your offer accepted if you target that. 
So when I broke the numbers down just by those four statuses of new back on market price reduced and extended status, 10 out of the 62 homes that were actively for sale were in those four categories. Five out of that 10 did indicate they would be eligible for FHA financing. The highest list price in these four categories was just over a million at $1,075,000 and the low was at $235,000. There was one home in the two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar price range, one home in the three hundred to four hundred thousand price range, three homes in the four hundred to five hundred thousand price range, one home in the five hundred to six hundred thousand price range, one home in the six hundred to seven hundred thousand price range, two homes in the eight hundred to nine hundred thousand price range, and just one home in that one to two million price range. So when we break those numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home that is in one of those four statuses is sitting at 523,000 and the average at 596,000. If we look at the days on market activity for those four statuses, uh, the median days on market is three days. Uh, that is likely because a lot of those are in that new uh, status. And the average days on market is at 13 days. So that's it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to click that like button. Uh, or if you do have family or friends who might be looking to purchase a home right now and are not working with a real estate agent already, I'd love the opportunity to help them out. I can also help anyone you might know uh, that is planning on selling their home. Um, so please, again, uh, feel free to tag them so that I can have a conversation with them and they can reach out to me. You can do so seven days a week by my cell phone at 775-378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you're watching on Facebook, click that send message button. And you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions. And I am, of course, always happy to answer questions that way as well. Or you can just simply drop a comment if you have any questions. I always love to answer any of those in the comments as well as that provides value for not just you, but anyone that happens to watch this video. So thanks again, have a great night.